What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrader.com. Today we're going to be checking out some Kurt Clevis hooks. And these are going to be great for attaching the side of your trailer if you're like tying down something on a flatbed or for safety chains on a gooseneck like we're going to show you here today. The spring-loaded latch helps it stay connected at all times. That way it's not going to pop out there while you're going down the road. Let's take a closer look at it. Look at them all next to each other. You can see the big size difference. We have the 5 8 one, which is our big heavy-duty one. Now the 5 8 actually is talking about the clevis pin here at the end and its diameter. So it's going to fit through those bigger chains for heavier duty applications, like maybe a crane. So if it's lifting a load up like that, you're more likely to go with this big heavy duty chain. It's a little bit of overkill for safety chains like we're gonna do today. Speaking of that, this is the one we're gonna use today. It comes in at 7 sixteenths because the diameter of the clevis pin fits through our chain we're using today for our safety chains. So it's gonna be a good hook to use right here with our safety chain loops. And we'll show you how to install in a second. Our other size would be a half, and that's a good in between our heavy duty and the one we're going to use the safety chains today. I've already removed the hook from this side, and this is the one we're going to install our new hook on. I just wanted to show you the old one and how the pin's like wrapped around the clevis pin here at the end. The cotter pin, you just kind of bend it around to keep that pin in place. So we took pliers and we just bent those straight to pull this cotter pin out. Going to our new cotter pin. It's in there straight for now, but we're going to bend it when we install it. So I'm going to just use some pliers, pull that out, take the clevis pin out, put it in between the hook here, install our clevis pin back in there, and then drop our cotter pin back in. With it installed, now I will bend the cotter pin backwards to keep it in place. There you go. So now you can see, you can't pull it right back out. We're gonna come down to our safety chain loops and just put our hook in there. You can see, it's not going anywhere. Let's put some pressure on this latch and see what happens. You see me pulling on it, trying to catch the edge of it. That's good. Cause it takes a little bit to push it back to even get it to spring back. And that way, if the safety chain loop does catch or anything, it didn't seem like it was easy pulling it out or pushing it around. So you don't have to worry about that at all. The clevis hook we're keeping today has a weight rating of 40,000 pounds. Now obviously that's gonna change the bigger and the more heavy duty the hooks get, but they are all a grade 80 steel with zinc plating. So you know that they're gonna hold up. Clearly there's a bunch of different variables on which hook you're gonna go with and what will work for you. It really depends on what you're gonna be hauling and using it for. But with whatever one you go with, I think I really like the latch system on the hooks because I don't have to worry about it while I'm going down the road. If the hook was just in there, and sure you can tighten it down, it'll stay in place if you get it nice and tight, but there's always that chance in my head while I'm driving down the road, like, oh, I'm gonna hit a bump, it's gonna come undone. With these spring-loaded latches, it's not gonna happen. It's always gonna stay secured around whatever you have it secured around, like this loop or on the side of a trailer or just the chain itself. It's gonna stay connected. So I really like that part. I think that does it for our look at the Kurt Clevis hooks. Hope this helped.